I did everything I had to do for today and I was like, okay, it's a super warm day, I am sweating constantly, I don't feel like putting any makeup on, so since I did everything, I'm gonna take the day off and that's it. Even though I started vlogging in the morning, I was like, okay, just we're gonna move on with the day i'm not gonna vlog anymore when i want a bit of a coverage something on my face but i don't want to use foundation i'm gonna go for this bourgeois cc eye cream it's an eye cream and it has some color and some coverage and usually i will go with that under the eyes but because i don't have anything else on the face and i don't want to use foundation i'm gonna put this under the eyes of course but i'm also gonna go a bit on the chin and on the forehead and i'm gonna just blend it out and basic i oh uh, okay so for a moment i thought i finished this product i don't even know how much i have because there is nowhere nowhere to look at this anyways and from this point i am just uh, blending it out like this so i basically have a tiny bit of coverage everywhere i need and the one i put under the eyes i'm gonna bring it down like so basically i have a bit of product kind of everywhere kind of highlights the features covers some areas and being a cc cream it also adds a bit of extra moisture to the face super hot day is upon us and it's not even the hottest day yet so i don't want to imagine how low on the energy i'm gonna be the next day so it's gonna be extra really super unseen heat <laughs> i did a to-do list yesterday Yesterday was Sunday, today is Monday and besides work of course I decided to start this vlog and the main topic of the vlog was to share with you how I stay consistent uh, with my workout routines and all these things and it's funny because today is one of the laziest days. I haven't done the workout yet so it's gonna probably be a super late workout this time if it's gonna be <laughs> so yeah kind of funny how i picked this topic for these kind of days when it's kind of hot and i'm like do i even want to work out because i'm kind of a walking sauna this must be it for my makeup i still feel like i did more than i should have but since i had that extra time why not i'm super hungry we won't get food but we will get the ingredients to make the food when we get home and also later on we should also water the trees because those little trees need water this is my look for today i also managed to pick an outfit luckily i would literally wear a swimsuit if i could but hey we gotta get dressed so i finally managed to pick something maybe a cold quick shower will make things better so i'll be right back this is my outfit of the day i have this nude top from sensei which even though it has long sleeves the top the fabric it's super light and airy and thin so the long sleeves are not a big deal in this case then i got this blue skirt i can't really remember where it's from i think new yorker i got it like a few years ago then i got this blue bag from tyne and for shoes we got these ones from tyne as well one two three four i wanna give it to you boy but there's a voice in my head that keeps telling me not to let you see secrets hidden inside me. Hungry people got to lead them. That's the new quote of grocery shopping. We 
we got back home and I started making the food. And here are the windows. Some things are going on. I'm not gonna clean it yet because it's gonna be even dirtier once they had to paint the wall. But after that, of course, I'm gonna clean everything. But here is a little update of the terrace. We got this wall built up here. There are still some things to go, but yeah, we kind of have it. And here we have the ingredients. We are making kebab and here we got kebab meat, which also had some sauce here inside, which we will try out. And on the other side, we have Shanghai chicken, which we will make one with Shanghai chicken and one with kebab meat. And here we have the, the pita for kebab. We also have some other type of sauce. We have salsa. And we have sour cream here, which also gives a nice aroma to the whole thing. So we will mix everything. We have a mix going on. I'll be switching numbers. Yeah, I did. Just another color. Switch it up. They be flipping thumbs up. Yeah, I know. Bumping like a Roomba. Looking down my name up in your phone. Yeah. Looking up your face and send them home. Yeah. Checkers, I'll be skipping over games. No, no, no. They must do it like in the Indian films. You know, those motions, expressions, and transitions. They're doing great. <laughs> Money in the bed, they say you make the name What's that excitement? Why you acting calm? Would you believe me if you knew it was wrong? Couple of months, it has been so long Couple green faces hanging out So sorry, but these bags are just spoilers for an upcoming video. I'm still waiting for the other package because it was divided in two. And when that one comes here, I'm gonna start filming and then I will post that video. Until then, I'm just trying to survive the heat and the noises from outside. We had such a rough morning because we had no water. They turned off the water and they are doing this constantly in the summertime apparently because i don't know what they're trying to do like to keep the resources for what yeah it's a situation going on in the summertime when when, when um when the degrees are so high they just cut the water for a few hours a day so yeah that was the morning situation luckily i had that sushi so i didn't need to make any breakfast I was just able to unpack that and just eat. Uh, I had my coffee a bit later, I kind of moved slow. Just wanted to wash my hair because it's super dirty and not nice anymore. And now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should do the workout routine first so I don't care about the hair and after that I can just take a shower and be all clean. So I guess I'm gonna do that. So. I'll see you in the gym. Here we are and I guess it's time to talk about how I stay consistent with the gym, workouts, stuff like that and especially because I am not a workout guru or whatever, especially because I'm not. I think I have a few ideas that might help you stay consistent because if you're just starting out, of course you are not a workout guru as well. So I probably will never be that kind of person to stay 100% consistent but in the long run I can say that I am consistent enough. The thing is I'm sure all of you heard about toxic positivity and I feel like the beauty industry and even the gym industry is surrounded by this toxic positivity. So you have to kind of find a balance for everything. Everyone that starts working out has a goal in their mind. Now in my situation 
I don't feel like I have a specific goal. I mean, okay, I want to stay fit, I want to look good. I mean, looking good can be a goal for most people, but yeah, if I'm looking in a mirror and I like what I see, I'm okay with that. I don't feel the need to really stress that much about my looks. So yeah, but other people have more specific goals when it comes to this. They want to look a specific way, have a specific body type, and it kind of forgets that uh, some beauty standards are simply unattainable by just working out. Somebody's got plastic surgeries, somebody's are edited on social media, so you have to keep that in mind because otherwise you will get into that toxic situation. And I feel like this is the first reason people are losing their motivation when they see that things are not working out as they thought they would. And I think this is where I did great. I didn't put in my mind a specific goal. I didn't lose all my energy to concentrate on that image that I think I can look like. I just went ahead and worked out and that's it. I don't try to think about all the squares I'm gonna have on my abs or what kind of muscles I'm gonna have on my butt or whatever. I, I just started working out and what's gonna be, it's gonna be. So. I'm good with who I am and I think this is also really important when you start working out being aware of your body and of your health and trying to stay as healthy as possible but not limiting yourself and not pressuring yourself to look a specific way this is actually really important there is this other situation when you start working out and it's going well one week two weeks two weeks but then there is this day when you don't really feel like working out and you end up not working out which is not a big deal but the first thing that comes into your mind is that guilt because you didn't work out and that guilt is eating all your energy and the next day you still feel low on the energy and you will probably end up not working out the next day as well and this goes on and on and you end up not working out at all so that's when the things are collapsing when you feel that guilt because uh, you didn't work out or you feel that guilt for eating that cake you don't have to think that way you can simply start working out again after that break it's not a big deal the progress is still there and I think this is where I actually did great. Even if I feel like taking a week off and not working out for a week, I will still start working out again after that week without any problems, without any guilt, without anything. And I think this is just much healthier for the mind. Things that make you feel guilty, things that put pressure on yourself, are usually things you want to stay away from so don't make gym one of those things so brush that guilt away it's not welcome and don't put so much pressure just do it like it's something fun to do do it how much you feel great doing it and if you feel like taking a break that's absolutely fine nothing will happen if I want to eat that cake I'm gonna eat it if I want to eat all the cakes I will probably do so I will just do some extra cardio to lose the extra calories and that's fine it's completely fine and that goes for the food as well i try to take all my nutrients but i will not regret eating a cake or more now these things can be a bit different if you are an overweight person that want to lose weight then you have to keep a diet but there are some diets that are kind of permissive and they let you eat a lot of things just because it's called a diet it doesn't have to be a monster maybe you should talk to a dietitian and get some actual advice i'm not prepared for that i'm just doing things my way and i'm kind of aware of what my body wants and of course i'm not an overweight person so things can be different for me and again things that work for me cannot work for other people so yeah when it comes to diet i can't really say much about it but yeah i just try to eat as healthy as possible but not really restraining myself from 
tasty stuff. Now, speaking of overweight people and toxic positivity, well, there is a lot of toxic positivity in this situation because everyone is preaching about loving yourself the way you are. Okay, you can love yourself the way you are if you are like, if you have a normal body, but preaching that to overweight people who actually need help, it's just simply toxic and not healthy at all because those people should be helped to get out of their situation because being overweight is not healthy it's not healthy for your body for your heart for your life overall so it's fine to love yourself and appreciate the person you are but appreciating the person you are and loving yourself should push you to be a bit better and a bit healthier so think about that moving on to the actual workouts i try to do the workouts i like and i feel good doing and i don't pressure myself about the time if i feel like doing a 20 minute workout i'm gonna do that and call it a day if i have some other days when i feel more motivated and i want to do an hour long workout that's fine as well Again, I will not pressure myself, I will not feel guilty about doing a small workout, I will just do it and it's still progress. My favorite workouts are back workouts. I feel like the back of a woman is just beautiful, sexy, without showing basically anything, it's just the back, but it's beautiful. Most of the time I will do mixed workouts or back workouts depending of how I feel in that day or there is also the version that I'm gonna just do cycling if I want to do cardio cycling is the way to go so yeah for my mixed workouts I will do one chest exercise of three sets then I will do one or two exercise for back I also add some sort of a leg workout this time I just have this OCD of feeling like I work out all my body so that's a thing if you feel like it's hard for you to keep up, maybe find a friend and work out together. For some people, having someone with them is actually helpful. I mean, sometimes I do feel like working out together with my husband, but there are other times when I feel like working out alone and just being me with my thoughts. Though, when I work out, usually it helps me... Um, distress myself and usually not think about many things so that's also a reason to start working out it just really stress and it makes you feel better overall so this is how i stay consistent and this is also a reason why my um, progress was so slow because i'm not really concentrating on having a huge progress in a short amount of time I'm just working out for fun, to feel good, to look good, to be healthy overall. So that's how I do and what I do. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do some small workout because speaking here for half an hour, it can be called a workout. This Catrice Duo pomade is an absolute dream. I just love it. I have no idea what I'm doing in terms of makeup today. I'm just adding color, going crazy maybe. I don't know. I am done with the makeup. I'm waiting for a response so I can go ahead and um, start filming. While I was doing this makeup, which I am completely in love with, I received the other package I was waiting for since yesterday. And if you're curious what's going on with it, um, after that video, I'm gonna post a clothing haul with everything that's in there. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe. Gotta say, it's a weird day to film such things because it's super warm. So everything is gonna get stick to my body. But hey, it is what it is. We are content creators. We are filming. And yeah, I know that lately I've been posting a few hauls. But as I said about two months ago or so, when I was doing a closet declutter, I do want to have more new pieces because 2020-2021 was mostly thrift shopping because 
I wasn't going out that much so yeah but now I feel like I do want some new things in my wardrobe so some fun stuff I do want to experiment with fashion more even though I, I I did experiment before but now even more I want to experiment with that so um, stay tuned for what's coming up because I think I will also film a fashion video at some point for summer and how you can experiment with fashion in the summertime um, how you can create interesting outfits so yeah stay tuned for everything now we are going downstairs and start filming sneak peek of the terrace progress it's coming out beautifully we have a bit of a situation going on Two items are missing from the second package. I started filming an unboxing close-up thing, but I can't film the actual talking part, try on of the video because I don't have those two items. So I had to make a few calls to the delivery company and they will further search for what's going on. They will do an investigation and hopefully those two items will be found. There is this dress I've been super curious to try on and I'm really excited about it. Of course, it doesn't work with this hairstyle and it's kind of giving me Cartesian vibes. And it's gonna be the only dress I'm gonna share with you in this vlog. If you wanna see the other ones, you will have to check out the next video. I look taller wearing this one and a bit slimmer even though the dress is not super tight on the body. It's kind of a bit large but it looks really good I love it seems like today's makeup was almost for nothing and I said almost because I took a few pictures and they are really nice pics so yeah but other than that unfortunately I haven't found those two items yet I'm still waiting for a response for the whole thing so today was a bit weird right so there is nothing else I'm gonna do today because it's already late I do have to transfer a few files I do have to edit this vlog so I guess this is gonna be for this one. 